Welcome back, my guardian friend, as well. Fitville have sent me some more shoes, slippers, and uh, as you can see, these uh, my regular viewers uh, will already know that uh, these winter boots I've been wearing them all winter and they've been really, really good and useful. I'll give them a close up uh, shortly. But uh, let's go and have a little look at what we've been up to in our garden. So these are the uh, winter boots and at the moment all the winter stuff uh, is 50% uh, off and uh, they're wearing really well, really, really well. Velcro is still working good and here are the winter clogs. Again. I've been using those uh, quite a lot. Well worn look, not just a gimmick, but winter boots are used for jobs around the garden that don't need steel toe caps. And then for pottering about in bare feet in the winter, that fur lined, very, very warm, uh, I use those. So we'll just slip these on. and uh, free your toes, Fitbill. They're doing all sorts of sport wear. Uh, they cater for people with uh, the diabetics, uh, if you've got wide feet, bunions, wider feet, swollen feet, toenail recovery. And uh, I've asked for some winter slippers and some brisk walk. So let's go down to the uh, log cabin. Still very cold guys but uh, we've uh, got the doors open for my reference only. Uh, again we've changed the design of the garden. Uh, this is going to be the grassed area and we've bought some more of these concrete log steps to go in front of the, the log cabin. But of course Mrs. K giving me that look about stepping in here now so at least I can slip these off and then pop on these uh, winter slippers they're quite robust they're not soft you know they're, they're good quality and uh, I'm looking forward to wearing those in here and I've got to resist <laughs> not to go pottering around the garden or else they'll end up looking like these so we'll slip these off here and then we'll just slip those in to there mrs king will be proud of me as he says he's trying to do it with without bending down but yeah they slip on nicely and then we can pop straight into the log cabin now, this was our old sofa but it was a little bit too low for me and uh, we give it to my elderly parents and they decided that they just wanted two seater so we've had it back but uh, what we've done is uh, raised it up on some uh, nice uh, recycled bricks and now I'm a nice comfy hide, but as you know, here in the UK, the weather's been absolutely awful. So we've bought the uh, egg chairs in as he loses focus, which is blocking off the uh, TV. And some of the, uh, the signs. But everything's been crammed out just for the winter. And I'm not allowed to use it as a dumping ground. So I'll be having a little look at these brisk walking shoes, uh, slip-ons. Uh, I have tried them, they're, they're good fit. Plenty of room for my uh, funny feet. Has anybody got perfect feet? But please check out uh, in the description below uh, the links to Fitville. I can highly, highly recommend uh, their footwear. Um, I'm not just having it and putting it to one side, they're getting their full use. And uh, if I find time, I'll go for a brisk walk. But I'm looking forward to 
trying those when uh, I uh, nip up into the town, which is uh, about a mile. But like I say, check out the description below and see the variety of shoes for sports, etc. Too many to mention, but best of all, they do fit your feet uh, really well to ensure you get the best uh, recovery if uh, you've got any issues with your feet. But that's enough of me rabbiting on. You go and take a look. You won't be disappointed. And unfortunately, I won't be going for a brisk walk today. I've been gritting all night. Got to go back to work soon. I think I made quite a decent job of the uh, the lighting. It does give me enough light when I go out in the early hours of the uh, the morning or early mornings. Gives me enough light so I don't tread in anything that uh, Skylar's left for me to tread in. And there's the uh, aerial, but the uh, guttering has worked really well to uh, keep uh, the bottom nice and dry, stopping any splashback. Originally we were going to have grass around the back, but I think that's better. It'll dry out quicker and hopefully uh, protect the uh, bottom parts of the uh, wood uh, log cabin. Into the grow rooms. This is the grow room. This is the greenhouse grow room. So let's have a look in the grow room first, see what we've got going on. We've got quite a few giants uh, chitting and some of the peppers and that if they don't become giants they make for good eating i've got some bunching onions there uh, some giant celery uh, the my own save seed and some of the other seed for the banana shallots and zebrun <laughs> haven't germinated very well alpine strawberries there's the alpine strawberries that we just sowed straight out of the packet and I left these in the freezer for three weeks. So hopefully they'll get a good germination. Some giant beetroot there. Some more of my giant celery. And uh, some other peppers, etc. But I do like uh, to chit when I can. We know what's uh, viable. But uh, those eye wipe pads are a little bit thick. And the roots do tend to get uh, a little bit stuck in them. So we have to be very careful. May have to go back to tissue paper. So we've got some of the geraniums and actual fact, uh, one's just started to flower. Uh, some of the giant onions and some of the long leeks. I'm gonna give those a go. I nearly, really need to get into there. Looks like we've got a little bit of aphid uh, action, which is always an issue. I've got some of my onion sets in there in cell trays. They need a little look at. And I've already chitted some of the giant carrot seeds and placed into these split pipes. So when I plant them, I'd undo the cable ties and open it up and uh, place them in the ground without root disturbance. And it won't be long before we're doing a potato reveal. I do like to grow potatoes uh, throughout the winter, but they do take up a bit of room. So I will be doing a harvest very soon. It does cost quite a bit of money to keep these up and running, but it's my hobby. So uh, it's something that I do enjoy and somewhere where I can come on the evening when I'm not too busy. This winter has been a quite harsh and I did lose one of my uh, oldest fish. He was about that size. He was similar colour on the orange and we used to call them Lucasade, about 30, 35 years old. Um, but uh, unfortunately that's what happens. There's a, a, a one of my original orf as well. He keeps all the blanket weed down that we get. And uh, he was about 25 mil long when we uh, first bought him all those years ago please have a look at the links in the description below for Fitville 
I'm sure you'll be amazed. Happy gardening to you all. Till next time, my friends. Ta-ra for now.